for detecting Lyme disease, a recent study may have found a more accurate method to detect and diagnose it. And Dr. Jen Ashton is here with this. So what's the findings here? So little insect, potentially big research. This came out of Colorado State University, and they basically took blood samples of patients with Lyme disease, patients with another tick-borne illness called Starry that looks a lot like Lyme, and then some normals. And they actually found some molecular features, a kind of metabolic signature, if you will, in the patients who had Lyme disease that tended to be a more accurate test so this is not ready for prime time yet okay. but exciting because it sheds more light on a disease and a, and a condition that we really don't know enough about yet so encouraging yeah. it's time of year people are out what yeah. symptoms do they look out for? Well, look, if you consider it head to toe, people with Lyme disease in particular can be pretty sick. They can have fatigue. They can have a flu-like illness. They can have that red expanding rash, the so-called bullseye rash, although not everyone gets it. Stiff neck, facial palsy. These patients can mm. be pretty sick. The good news is in the early stage, it's treated with antibiotics. Yeah, we think about it in this area, but it's, it's, it's not just here. Yeah, so there are about seven species of ticks. I, I had to look at these uh. creepy crawly pictures all over the country. They, they pass along different diseases, but if you look at the map, the purple is Lyme, the red is Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever, and in general, they are geographically clustered, but this area is becoming blurry. Ticks mm. don't look at the road map, and so they don't stop at the state border, and so your region is important. The type of tick is also important. I brought something here that's really important to show you, Robin. The, the deer tick, which is the, deer, the right. tick that passes Lyme, is the size of a poppy seed. It is much smaller than people think. A sesame seed, more more often a dog tick, that does not transmit so Lyme. This little that's how spot. small it is, wow. exactly. Yeah. So that's why it's so easily missed, especially when it's in hairy areas yeah. or on the back of our body. What's some myths for us here? All right, these are my top okay. three. There are so many myths about Lyme disease in particular. The first one is if, you, if you've had Lyme once, you always have it. Not true. The second one, you can only let get Lyme disease one time. That's not true. You can get bitten again and get sick again. And the third myth, any tick bite can transmit Lyme. There's so much fear and anxiety mm. when people pull ticks off of them that they're going to get Lyme disease. That's not true. Only that little okay. poppy Gosh, seed deer tick can it. pass along Lyme. All right, good to know. Yep. Be uh, careful.